Hey, what's up? This is Stan, and I'm absolutely excited today to present you our new feature in Multilogin called Multi Cores. Now, Multi Cores is a sort of a revolution because it not, not only will help you to decrease the number of bans you get with your accounts, but it also helps you to manage these accounts in a much more convenient way. As the name implies, Multicores essentially allows you to manage browser profiles with different browser core versions. As you can see on my desktop, I have two browser profiles open. And on the first one, the version of Mimic is 105 and on the second one is 103. With Multicores, you are no longer tied to one particular browser core version to a specific multi-login application version. You can manage multiple browser core versions from one application. Besides that, with Multicores, you get notification from the application itself if a new browser core is available, and you will be able to see this notification right here. From this notification, you will also be able to download the latest browser core version and use it for your newly created browser profiles. Older browser profiles will remain on older previous browser core versions, but you will also be able to update these previously created browser profiles to a newer browser core version. To do that, you can simply click on a browser profile that needs to be updated. And on the right sidebar, you will see a button called update your Mimic or a Stellfox browser to a newer browser core version. And I can simply click and update it. Now, as you can see, this browser profile will be tied to Mimic 105. You can see whether a particular browser profile needs to be updated by checking the indicator on the left side of your browser profile on the top of the Mimic or Stellfox icon. As you can see, this browser profile hasn't been yet updated and it tells me that a new browser core version is available on your computer and you can update this browser profile from the right side by clicking on the browser profile. Multicores solve a couple of big problems that existed before its release. The first problem is that in previous versions of the application, you were pretty much forced to update the browser profile to the latest core in order to launch it. With Multicores, there isn't a need. The update is optional. And if you decide to do it, you can simply click on it and update the browser profile. The second problem that Multicores solve is that sometimes you maybe not wish to update the latest browser core, but you do want to get access to the new functionality that is available on newer versions of the application. And as a result, you were pretty much forced to go and migrate to a newer browser core version. With Multicores, there is no longer need for that. All of your browser profiles can continue to run on older cores if you wish to. However, we do recommend that you update your browser profiles to the latest core versions because this essentially emulates the normal behavior of regular internet users when the browser itself updates automatically. The third problem that Multicore solve is that team members were unable to launch updated browser profiles on older versions of the application. And as a result of that, this process made a lot of interruptions in your team's work. It essentially made it very inconvenient to use. With Multicores, team members essentially get the newer browser core versions from outside of the application already, and they can use newer or older browser core versions without having to update to the newer multi-login version. Now, why is this so important? To understand why it's so important, we can check the statistics of how normal regular users automatically get their browsers updated. If we take a look at this graph right here, uh, we can see the distribution of different browser versions in time. Specifically, we can see a lot of data related to Chrome because this is one of the most popular browsers right here. And if we, for example, take a look at this point right here, we see that in January 2022, 97th Chrome was used by 36.89% of all desktop users. Now, in one month, this already dropped to 17.18%. And by that time, in one month, the 98th Chrome was already the most dominant and popular browser version. This essentially means that in one month, 
on, uh, normal regular users automatically get their browser versions updated. And if you emulate this type of behavior with your browser profiles, you are essentially showing normal behavior to the websites that you work with. And as a result, you will get less bans and restrictions. Now, the thing is, is that if we just change the user agent or the version in client hints browser fingerprint, websites are still able to understand that the user agent is one. However, the browser core is actually different. We talk about this method of detection in other videos, but essentially websites do this. If you're launching a browser profile with a user agent A, for example, on user agent 97 and your browser core version is 92, websites will be able to find a consistency and detect you. And because of that, they can also block your accounts. We know that eBay, PayPal, and Facebook continuously use these methods to detect you and block accounts for these reasons. Finally, I want to point out that we are the only browser fingerprint masking solution that provides this level of sophisticated browser fingerprint version management. And the reason why we invest so much resources into this is because we know that websites utilize these methods to detect users. And that's why we focus so much on this. And at this point, we are the only solution that provides this level of sophistication regarding browser core updates. Lately, we have also been very consistent in updating our browser core versions of Mimic and Telfox because we believe it can help you guys to manage your accounts as less restrictions as possible. Definitely try out this functionality. Tell us how it works. Uh, currently, it's in beta state, but it's working very stably at the moment. If you have any comments, just let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out our Twitter and Telegram, where we post this type of content and update you on the latest news on how to decrease the amount of your account bans. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.